Hello, Andy here at GAA Technologies. Um, this is just an update on the 450 DJI build I was doing. And uh, I did mention in a previous video that I was a little bit unhappy about a, uh, the power board that came with the kit. So I thought I'd just do a follow up on that because I have now removed it. So this is the one in question. Okay, so here we are with a little bit of better focus now. The problem with the, with this board is that um, we all know that the DJI has this um, bottom uh, piece of uh, copper which forms the uh, the power distribution board on on both sides. Um, but the problem with this kit is uh, the amount of lines slots they they've made inside the board, and what it's actually doing is dividing the copper trace into very small sections. Now if you would watched my previous videos I'm now going to use the pointer here to outline the uh, outline edge of the PCB which is actually quite difficult trying to look at the camera and where I'm going. So you can see that the outside edge of the PCB is actually cut by this slot. So the only place where voltage and obviously current can pass is from the inner edge here and that's very small it's less than 10 mil so your obviously your batteries connect here here and here and all the current trying to go around you know th there is a nice wide piece of uh, copper from there to there and from here to here but the slots they've they've cut into it which is a different design from the original DJI 450 board um, cuts through too much of the copper so what I'm going to do now I'm going to uh, pause the video and use my built 450 just to demonstrate what I mean of uh, the original board for a DJI 450 so here we have my original um, DJI 450 upside down showing the power board. So th this is this is what we're comparing. We're comparing this board with all these multi slots here to the existing board where you've only got three slots in the middle. So the power board. Let me just go down and have a closer look. The power board goes from here to here, from here to here, from there. To there so you can see it's actually quite quite wide and the slots in the middle allow all this section of PCB here from there to there um, to transfer the current around to the ESC's which is totally different from this design where these slots make the PCB very very thin so really this video is just really a buyer beware it's okay buying these cheap imports but you do only get what you pay for but if you've got a PCB um, for your 450 that looks like this you can either throw it away and buy a proper DJI or what you can do you can scratch off the um, let me just see if I'm focusing here a little bit better You can scratch off the uh, black uh, protective layer and you could put bridges in. So you could solder bridges in here, uh, which would then make the, the, the track of the PCB a lot wider um, to carry the, the additional current. Now, I was going to do that and I started investigating it, but it's, it would make the model look terrible. Um, so I decided to unsolder uh, all the SCs and start again. Um, so that's it, so buyers beware really. If you're buying cheap, look into it, and a model's got a built-in PCB, just look in to see how wide the tracks are uh, which are delivering the current between the four, six or eight ESCs, depending on what you got. So that's uh, a follow-up into my um, 450 build. And um, I hope that makes some sense. Now,